Here, you will use judicious texturing and mapping to simulate cloud puffs. Replace the shape operator with a shape facing operator. For a look at camera, choose the animated camera in the scene. As you scrub the animation, notice how the particles are always facing the camera. You may need to disable and then enable the shape facing operator to refresh the first frame. Set the shape facing size to about 2. Still, all particles are exactly the same size. Add a scale operator and set it to inherit once the original shape facing size. Set the scale variation to about 400. You can also experiment with unconstrained scale factors. Next, you create a particle material to simulate cloud puffs. Add the material static operator to the tree. Alternatively, you can use a material dynamic operator if you plan to animate the material. In the Slate Material Editor, create a new standard material and instance it to the material static operator. Make the material 100% self-illuminated. As always, you need to refresh the particle operator to see the results. Enable Show Map in Viewport so you can ultimately see the material in the viewport. In the Opacity channel, add a gradient map. Copy the black color, color number 1, into the second color slot and set the type to Radial. This ensures the edges of the shape facing squares remain transparent. Set the noise value to 1. Adjust the size and set the mode to fractal. Experiment with values until you see something you like in the viewport. To add more variety, add another level of noise to the white opaque channel of the gradient map. Once you're satisfied with the transparency level, you can introduce some additional variety to the cloud color. Add a noise map to the diffuse level. Set the type to fractal and adjust the threshold and size values. The noise map is a 3D map and it doesn't render exactly like it shows in the viewport, so some trial and error is expected. Set the colors to white and a light gray. Alternatively, you can use a slight tint of blue. Once you are satisfied, you can test the animation in the camera view or render a sequence of images to disk. Once this is done, you can use the RAM player to load the rendered sequence and fly through the clouds. Keep in mind that the numerical values given in this movie are meant as an example. Feel free to experiment with other values for cloud colors, particle sizes and speed, density placement, and so on.